taken from their homes and arrested late at night. The four students aged between 16 and 21 are accused of violating Hong Kong's newly imposed national security law. We found out that uh, uh, this um, uh, organization posed uh, in, a, uh, in a social media about the establishment of a, uh, of a, of a new parties that will be promoted the independence of Hong Kong. They are from a disbanded political group, Student Localism, which advocated for Hong Kong's independence. On June 30th, just hours before the law took effect, the group seized all their operations in Hong Kong, but continued to call for support from abroad. Police here said the arrests were carried out by a newly formed National Security Department. They also confiscated phones, computers and documents, all without a warrant. The arrests mark the first time the new law has been used against activity on the Internet. There are now many questions of what kind of a precedent it sets and how much it will affect freedom of speech and political rights in Hong Kong. Opposition to the national security law was also used as a basis to disqualify at least a dozen pro-democracy candidates, including activist Joshua Wong from the Legislative Council elections in September. Earlier this month, hundreds of thousands of people voted in an unprecedented but unofficial primary election organized by the Democratic camp to consolidate their support. They said the turnout indicated their chances of winning a majority of the Legislative Council seats, a prospect that won't be welcomed in Beijing. Authorities say more candidates could be disqualified. And I think today we are seeing the results of the relentless oppression that this regime is starting, not only just to take away the basic fundamental rights and freedom that was once enjoyed by all Hong Kong people. Hong Kong has political freedoms and rights not seen in mainland China, but activists say the national security law is rapidly eroding its status and taking away the very qualities which set it apart from the rest of the country. Divigo Palin, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.